Welcome back to R&DW Adventures. I'm Daryl. And I'm Renee. And we're going to do some geocaching today, which is still a cold February Sunday before we head to our event. Come and join us on this adventure. We're kicking off our day with this adventure lab in an interesting preserve. This is a strip of land beside a it's actually between a whole bunch of industrial buildings, including some new developments, that looks like it was from an old estate. So we're starting with this old stone bridge, which is where we found our first answer. So we're here at the second stage of this adventure lab at this cool old gate that doesn't have any fence or anything else attached to it. It doesn't serve much purpose, but it is cool. I think we might be running a little bit out of order doing this pond as our third stage, but the adventure did warn that we could find some wildlife running around, and we found what I've never really run into in real life. It's probably a coyote or a wolf, but it was a good-sized dog-like animal that just ran away. Definitely not a dog with a big tail, so I'm thinking it's probably more like a wolf than a coyote. I've only ever run into foxes on the trail though. So as we are doing this, we are at the pump house for our fourth stop. It's kind of close, I think, to the, well, we can see the fifth stop. Um, it's a really cool pump house. You don't usually see many like this. And it, um, it has a door that's my size. <laughs> so I'm actually standing on some rocks and this door is taller than I thought it was, but it's actually really creepy because when you look down there, it's all just open like a big hole and there's a grate. Like, I guess that kind of is what a pump house is, but it's still kind of creepy. Our fifth stage was at this very cool bridge. So we just needed to count some slats and now we're off to the final. So we're gonna wrap this up. We did five stages of the lab cache and then a bonus cache, so six all together. Pretty cool um, area that I never would have thought of behind these buildings. Excellent adventure overall. A Little bit chilly this morning, but can't complain for the end of February. But now we're off to our event because who doesn't want bubble tea? So we've made it to downtown Royal Oak for our geocaching event at uh, Goldfish Bubble Tea. What was this one called? For Love of Bubbles? For the Love of Bubbles. Which I assume is a uh, Valentine's Day reference, but we're a little <laughs> bit late for that. But we're not gonna be able to record much in there. We might try to get some B-roll for you guys, but like a lot of these places, it does have music, which means we can't post that to the channel. So we did have a little bit better turnout than usual for our uh, bubble tea events, About including 20. some folks uh, coming in from Canada. That was fun. So a little longer than usual too, as our long event turned into two and a half hours. <laughs> But that is going to do it for everything today. We ended up with uh, the five stages of the Adventure Lab. Mm -hmm. Plus we have, the bonus. We have the uh, puzzle cache, the uh, one traditional that we found on the way to the event, and then the event itself. Yes. So eight caches in one day. Not too bad for a day of not really caching. And eating, drinking bubble tea. <laughs> so if you want to check out more of our geocaching adventures, check out the playlist down in the corner there. That will get you all of our geocaching videos on the channel. Then the other uh, corner has all of our videos in general under the channel icon. So if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe and the bell icon. 